guys, it's Fanny and welcome back to another mukbang. Today we're going to be eating some spicy chicken alfredo But before you guys continue watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and turn on those post notifications Because you know they'll really 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 help me out and let's get started with what we are eating today So for here we have our some garlic breads and then we have some spicy fire chicken alfredo pasta with some broccoli <laughs> You know, I've actually never tried eating uh, chicken alfredo with fire sauce before, but I envision it to be really tasty in my mind. So, yeah, hopefully it is. Hey, okay, first bite. Oh, this is so good. And my chicken. Mm hmm Nice and creamy, cheesy, and spicy. Goes really well together. If you love broccoli, comment down below and let me know. Broccoli is so delicious because it literally just absorbs all of the pasta sauce. some of this pasta on the garlic bread.
so today later on and we're gonna go to a cafe with katsu i found a dog friendly cafe and get some work done there because it's my busy season right now it's very busy for tax people so i just have so much i need to do and i feel that i concentrate better when i'm at a cafe i don't know if you guys are like that but for me I don't know i don't know what it is but i just feel a lot more productive when i'm not working at home it's kind of weird i've always been like that even like back in college <laughs> i would always um either go to cafes or libraries to study I'm looking forward to that cafe and I'll probably film a little bit of it just to show you guys in my what I eat in a week vlog so make sure to check it check those out as well because you guys will really get to see what I truly eat in a week and you know I just think it's more personal and gives you a better insight of what I do what I eat and yeah <laughs> Also, um, today is my dad's birthday, and I wished him happy birthday last night. I wished him happy birthday today, and I'm gonna wish him happy birthday again right now. Happy, <laughs> happy birthday, dad. Unfortunately, my dad's no longer with me, and I don't know, maybe if you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have seen me make like one post about it but yeah i lost my dad a few months ago and i haven't really spoke much about it just because it's quite a personal and touchy subject but i do want to acknowledge his birthday today so yeah if you guys are watching this wish him a happy birthday as well I might go into it some more maybe like later on when I feel more comfortable talking about it or you know s stuff like this I don't know that everyone wants to know you know so yeah but it is what it is and life goes on I will say like everything I had to go through the past months has definitely made me more stronger and I'm able to more focus on the things that matter more before you know I would get bothered by a lot of small small matters in life that really weren't that important so you're just wasting all your energy on stuff that really shouldn't matter so 
you know, with all these events, it makes me realize, like, you know, damn, like, there's, there's shit out there in the world that actually matters, that you should actually care about, so. So if there's one thing I could change about the pasta I made today, honestly, everything's really good, but I would actually change the pasta itself, like the pasta noodle, just because I'm not a fan of like the texture. And I really wanted to get some like high quality pasta noodles, but I couldn't find any at Target. <laughs> so if you guys are like pasta enthusiasts, like where do you go or like do you have any brands you recommend that like sells like really good pasta and, and you know I, I don't think I'm gonna go out my way and like make my own pasta but if there's already prepackaged pastas that are of good quality comment down below and let me know and I'll definitely try to check it out Like, you guys see what I mean? Like, this pasta is no bueno. <laughs> but fettuccine alfredo always has, like, a really soft spot in my heart because I ate a lot of this growing up. I remember um, back in high school when I'd hang out with my stepsister a lot. And there'd be like nothing to eat. <laughs> we always would just get some canned pasta sauce, Alfredo sauce, and then some um, fettuccine pasta and just whip it together, add some broccoli. And at that time we didn't really know how to cook chicken. So we would just get some like pre-made chicken from the market and it made a good meal, you know? Pasta, the thing about pasta is like if you make it at home, it's very affordable and you can, you can make a good amount of it too. I actually haven't had fettuccine alfredo in a really long time. Like so long, I don't even remember. I actually think the last time I had it was when I was in high school. So the most recent time I had it before high school or after high school was actually um, at Applebee's when we went to Palm Springs, Palm Desert a few weeks ago. And I haven't been to Applebee's also, by the way, ever since high school, so it was really nostalgic. I ordered the fettuccine alfredo chicken pasta there, and it didn't taste that great, but I still really enjoyed it because it just reminds me of childhood, you know? So, like, eat, like you know, like, I'm pretty sure you guys have some foods where it's really not that good, but you personally really enjoy it because you ate a lot of it growing up. That was the same experience I had at Applebee's, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film a chicken alfredo mukbang, but I wanna add some fire sauce in it because I like things a little bit spicy, so 
here we are today. <laughs> Okay guys, that is it for my mukbang and if you enjoyed this cooking and pasta mukbang Make sure to smash that like button leave a comment down below and of course subscribe to my channel Overall consensus everything was a bomb if you guys like a little bit of heat I highly recommend that you guys add some fire bulldog sauce in your chicken alfredo. It is just it's so Good and also like if you're a person that doesn't like it like super because chicken alfredo is like a really super creamy dish And if it's way too creamy for you adding that fire sauce It really helps it just mm, it takes it to a whole nother level. So I recommend that a lot and Yeah, let's grab katsu real quickly to say bye. Bye Katsu is a good girl today <laughs> She was just laying under me this entire time while I was filming a oh, girl mm. She's getting bigger and bigger and bigger right now. She is five months and two weeks. So uh, we're going to need to get her spayed soon. Maybe when she's like six and a half months. And she's been losing her teeth today. She lost one of her canines um, on this side right here. I know, baby. Because I was like looking at her toys and there was like a little bit of blood on it. I'm like, what's going on? And she lost a tooth. Mmm, I know. <laughs> She's getting bigger and bigger. Oh, they grow so fast. Okay, guys. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.